subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hello friends, good morning to all of you. Let's start again the passive voice. But before that, I would like to tell you that if you haven't subscribed our channel, please subscribe that so that you could get all my videos which I had done and which I had made regarding to active and passive voice. Because in those videos that you could find out the basic rules of active passive voice and even the other tenses also that you could find in all my videos. So please subscribe that and you could get your videos. Okay. Now we move on to the another tense that today we are seeing the present perfect tense. Now as usual that I would like to tell you the difference between active and passive voice. What is the difference in active and what is the difference in a passive voice? In a present perfect tense, formations of positive sentence is that that subject plus have has plus past participle plus object and other word. This is the formations of active voice. But in a passive voice, as a rules, object come first, after that have has, then been we have to write down. Remember that? Been we have to write down in a present perfect tense. So object plus have has plus been plus past participle plus by plus subject and other word. This is a formation of positive sentence. <laughs> Example that I have written novel. I have written novel. So novel has been written by me. This is an example of positive sentence. Now in a negative sentence. That negative formation of active voice is subject plus have has plus not plus past participle plus object plus other word. This is a formation of active voice. But in a passive voice, object come first. So object after that have has plus not plus been. Remember that not you have to put place between have has and been. Okay, so object plus have as plus not plus being plus by subject other word, right? So example of negative sentence that she has not, she has not taught English subject. She has not taught English subject. So English subject has not been taught by her. Right now, move on to the interrogative sentence. We start with a to be verb. So here to be verb is have as. So our question, our question uh, sentences are starting with a have as. So we have to start have as. So have as plus subject plus past participle plus object plus other words plus question mark. Right. This is the formations of active voice. But in a passive voice. Have has come first. After that, instead of all the subject, we have to write down object. After that, been, then past participle, then by, then subject, then other word and question mark. For example, have you broken the glass? Have you broken the glass? So in a passive voice, has the glass been broken by you? This is a example of interrogative sentence. Now move on to the another example or another formation which is a WHO. In the last lecture, in last all the tenses I told you that WH is a differ from other WH. Right? Okay. WHO. Who plus have has plus past participle plus object plus other word plus question tag. This is a formation of active voice. But in a passive voice by whom after that have has plus object plus been then past participle other word question mark. For example, who has drawn this picture? I repeat a bit. Who has drawn this picture? So passive voice. By whom has the picture been drawn? By whom has the picture been drawn? This is an example of that. Now the rest of WH. That WH plus have has plus subject plus past participle plus object plus other word question mark. This is a formation of active voice. But in a passive voice WH plus have has plus object plus being plus by subject other word question mark for example that where had you where had you learned english language this is active voice but in a passive voice where has english been learned by you where has english been learned by you 
right so these are all the formation of present perfect tense i repeat again that in active voice and passive voice are totally dependent on their formation so you have to remember the formation of each tense so again remember that that without formations you can't attempt the passive voice so please remember the formation whatever i taught you whatever i gave you of all the sentences formation all of the example please do practice and remember okay till today that we are finishing about the present perfect tense in my next lecture that i am going to tell you about the formation of past perfect tense okay then till then enjoy yourself